Welcome to Godly Motivation. Thanksgiving should be a regular part of our lives. It is something that creates an atmosphere where God can speak and move in our lives when we need it the most. It is a type of prayer, and it should flow out of us in a natural way that is pure and easy. We can take time each morning and thank God for the things He has helped us with, but we should also continually breathe out simple prayers of thanksgiving every day, whether we see God working in our lives or blessing us, or whether it is in a challenging season of our lives. When you wake up in the morning, that by itself is a blessing, and the Lord wants us to maintain an attitude of gratitude, even for the little things. For example, Lord, thank you for a good night's sleep, or God, I thank you that my visit to the dentist didn't hurt as much as I thought it might, or Father, Thank you for helping me make good decisions today. Or, Lord, thank you for keeping me encouraged when things kept going wrong. God is always good to us, always faithful, and always working diligently in our lives to help us in every possible way. We need to respond by letting God know that we appreciate Him and everything He is doing for us. We should thank God silently in our hearts, and we should also voice our thankfulness aloud because that helps us to stay conscious and aware of God's love, which He demonstrates through His goodness to us. I invite each listener to type something below in the comments that you are grateful for right now. It could be a chance to see your family again, or to breathe in the air of a new day, or even just another opportunity to wake up and change your life. Type something you're grateful for, and then click on the like button as we come into agreement. Lamentations 3 verses 22 and 23 say, The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. It's no coincidence that our daily time is divided into 24-hour increments. God gives us new opportunities each and every morning to start fresh. It's a chance to begin again, to try again, to hope again, and to watch God do something we never expected. You see, God is a God of restoration and change. He is always doing a new thing and working behind the scenes in our lives to bring about new beginnings. Where we see failure, God sees potential for something new. The minute we stumble and come apart, God is already planning our comeback. When we mess up plan A, we don't have to worry. God has a plan B. Maybe plan A for you represents a missed opportunity, a painful past, or a relationship that didn't work out. Or maybe you feel like you made a mistake and there's no chance that things will turn around. If so, I want you to take a moment and think about this scripture passage, Jeremiah 29 11, which says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Regardless of what happened yesterday, last week, or last year, God has a great plan for your life, a plan for you to succeed and experience the peace and joy that Jesus died to give you. Instead of staring at the past, God wants you to look through the eyes of faith and to get excited about the future. Even when someone else or an unforeseen circumstance affects our lives, God promises to take the negative things that happen and to use them for our good. With God, no one can ever truly take anything away from you. If you will trust God, He can take a bad situation and make it up to you. Most times when we face negative circumstances, we become frustrated and tempted to carry this feeling around all day and even into the next day. But when you put your trust in the Lord, you realize that God has a way of closing certain doors so that better ones can open. The conviction is true that He works in mysterious ways, and it is sometimes difficult to understand if you are not patient 
and standing in faith. My friends, forget what happened yesterday or last week. You don't have to figure everything out on your own. All things are possible with God. When we see dead ends, God sees new beginnings. He wants to take the pain of our past and not only heal it, but to restore to us more than we would have had in the first place. When we're in the middle of a bad day or a disappointing moment, it's so tempting to give in to thoughts like, it's over, it's too late, but it isn't too late. It's never too late to have a fresh start when you have life in Christ. Today is a new day. Tomorrow is a new day. It's a new opportunity to finish that project, mend a relationship, get back to your exercise routine, or begin a new direction in your life. I encourage you to look at each day as a chance to start again. When you wake up, declare things like, this is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. God is the God of do-overs, second chances, and new beginnings. And if you will let God, He will give you a fresh start and it will be better than you can imagine. Mornings hold a unique spiritual significance as they provide us with a quiet, undistracted time for communion with God. When we wake up and rejoice in the Lord, we nourish our spiritual connection and enrich our faith by beginning each day with prayer, meditation, and scripture. We prioritize our relationship with God. We create a sacred space for God to speak to our hearts, guide our steps, and fill us with His presence. Here, we draw strength from God. We prepare ourselves for the challenges and opportunities that lie ahead. Isaiah 40, 31 reminds us, but those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. Waking up and rejoicing in the Lord fosters an attitude of gratitude that can permeate our entire day. Gratitude not only enriches our lives, but also draws us closer to God's heart. We can all have good days when everything goes perfectly, and it's easy to be nice to others or just positive all day long. But then, what about the bad days? We must be careful that we are not only happy or positive or choose to give thanks during the good times. God is the same God whether things go your way or not. And even if He doesn't show up when you want, how you want, and for what you want, it doesn't mean that He is not still God. As we greet the day with a thankful heart, we count our blessings. We recognize the simple yet profound gifts of life, such as health, loved ones, and the opportunities that await us. Gratitude shapes our perspective, allowing us to focus on the positive aspects of life. God always wants to bless us. Philippians 4, 8 says, Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, Whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable. If anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Our morning disposition can significantly impact our interactions with others. When we wake up and rejoice in the Lord, our attitude of love and grace influences our relationships. Our joy and gratitude become contagious, radiating God's love to all around us. We become beacons of hope and encouragement, uplifting the spirits of others, and God wants us to let our light shine so that others may see and come to glorify Him. Rejoicing in the Lord each morning equips us to respond to challenges with grace and patience. We approach difficulties with a Christ-like spirit, offering forgiveness and understanding to others. One major advantage is that the peace that comes from rejoicing in the Lord in the morning can reduce stress. We release our anxieties into God's care, trusting that He holds our concerns in His capable hands. Moreover, 
the morning is an ideal time to set intentions and prioritize our tasks. As we spend time with God, we gain clarity and focus, helping us navigate the day's responsibilities much more effectively. So, as we move into our prayer for today, let us remember that waking up and rejoicing in the Lord each morning is a daily offering of praise. It is an acknowledgement of God's faithfulness, an opportunity for spiritual growth, and a pathway to joy and gratitude. As we begin each day in the presence of God, we align our hearts with God's will, and we set a positive tone for the hours ahead. May we all embrace the beauty of each morning, rejoicing in the Lord and experiencing the transformation it brings to each of our lives. And now, our prayer. Heavenly Father, we come into your glorious presence with hearts full of gratitude and praise. As we wake up to the new day that you have graciously granted to us, we rejoice in your goodness, faithfulness, and endless love. Forgive us for the times when we were ungrateful and focused more on the things we wanted instead of seeking you first so that other things can be added to us. Lord, we recognize that every morning is a divine reminder of your unfailing grace, and we lift our voices in worship, seeking your blessings and favor throughout the day. We thank you, Lord, for the gift of life itself, for the breath in our lungs, and for the opportunities you place before us each day. In the midst of life's challenges, we are reminded of your unwavering presence, and it fills us with hope. And so, as we start this new day, we humbly seek your blessings and favor. We understand that in your hands there is abundant provision, and we ask that you pour out your blessings in our lives according to your perfect will. We are reminded, O God, that your word in Proverbs 10:22 says, The blessing of the Lord makes rich, and he adds no sorrow with it. O Father, we ask for your guidance in making choices that align with your divine plan. Help us, God, to recognize the opportunities you place before us and to seize them for your glory. We trust in your wisdom, and we ask that you lead us on paths of righteousness throughout the day. We place our trust in your promises, for we know that every word you speak is true and unwavering. You have declared that when we seek you with all of our hearts, we will find you. Lord, we seek your presence, guidance, and protection as we embark on this new day. Thank you for your word that says we will seek you and find you when we seek you with all our heart. We believe in the promise of your favor and blessings, O God, knowing that they are available to those who walk in your ways. We ask that you order our steps according to your divine plan, that we may experience the blessings you have in store for us. Heavenly Father, we commit ourselves to you as living sacrifices. May our lives be a testament to your goodness and grace. We desire to live in a way that glorifies your name and reflects your love to the world. As we go about our day, Help us to be conscious of your presence and to seek your guidance in our decisions. May our actions and words be a living testimony to your faithfulness and love. Lord, we surrender this day into your hands, recognizing that it is ultimately yours. We trust in your perfect plan, knowing that you are in control of all things. In moments of uncertainty and challenge, we will lean on your strength and find our refuge in your presence. Help us not to run ahead when we get excited and forget to reach out to you for direction. We humbly pray today that you will bless us, bless our families, our plans, our health, our finances, and even our challenges. We entrust our hopes, dreams, and desires to you knowing that your will is far greater than our own. As we rejoice in your faithfulness each morning, 
we invite your blessings and favor into our lives. We wake up, not with fear and anxiety, but with joy and expectation, for you are our refuge and strength. May this day be a testimony to your love, a day in which we experience the riches of your blessings and favor. We place our trust in you, knowing that you are with us every step of the way. Our prayer is made in the name of Jesus. Amen. For those of you who have made it with us to the end of this prayer, we ask you to click the like button and subscribe so that you will never miss another devotional. Thanks again for watching, and we hope that you have a blessed and wonderful rest of your day.